Hey everyone, it's Lara from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm going to be doing a cook with me and our nighttime routine video. So in this video, I'm just going to take you along for a night at home, kind of what we do after the afternoon. So this is kind of starting after around like 3.30ish p.m. after the kids nap time, after just like all day of all the things that we've done. In the evening, this is kind of what our routine looks like. Now, obviously this is different sometimes because some nights we have different activities, they have practices or something going on with family or whatever. But on a night when we're just home, Typically after around like 3.30ish, I start kind of thinking about dinner. Um, a lot of times I already have something kind of in my mind of what I'm doing. Other times I just kind of go to the fridge and see what I have. Now on this particular night, I'm making sausage and sauerkraut soup. I'm making this in the Dutch oven because we try to make a lot of meals in our cast iron skills in our Dutch ovens. I mean, that's the way we cook anyway. But my husband has a blog called castironskilletcooking.com. And so anytime I'm making a meal, I try to make it with something that he could also put on his blog just so we can kind of get two things done at once. So tonight we're making this soup in our Dutch oven. I started off by dicing up some onions and mincing some garlic and I just pan seared this in the Dutch oven. After the onions and garlic were translucent and sauteed, I added in some white potatoes and grated carrots. I just chopped those up while the onions and garlic were cooking. And then I diced up some sausage and I cooked that in a cast iron skillet while everything else was cooking. I poured that into the soup as well with some homemade bone broth and I added in some sauerkraut. We love making sauerkraut and usually we eat it just raw with meals, but this is just a treat. We absolutely love sausage and sauerkraut together. My kids really like this, it's a lot of flavor. And so um, that's another way that we like to eat our sauerkraut. After dinner was cooked, um, sometimes my kids will help me with setting the table. Other times my husband will have them outside playing. Um, sometimes I just love that. It's nice and quiet inside. I get to cook by myself. I get to set the table by myself and um, it's just a nice quiet time that I get to have. And then I like to have everything ready to go. So when I call them in, it's ready. They can just sit down and we can enjoy dinner together. Right now, my baby is liking to eat little bites of things that we're having. Sometimes I'll also have a little bit of parade food for him, but he is starting to eat just whatever we have in small little pieces. Um, ben is 10 months now, almost 11 actually, getting close to 11 months old. So that's just kind of how we start to eat around this age. After dinner on this night, my husband took the kids back outside. It's fall time. It is getting so pretty out. It's just nice, cool evenings. So he took them out to play and I cleared the table and did all the dishes to get everything cleaned up. nighttime I like to have the kitchen completely cleaned before I go to bed. It just makes the next morning so much better if I have everything cleaned. Um, dishes put away if I can, counters sprayed and wiped off. It just makes the next morning so much more smooth if I can go to bed with a clean kitchen. the kitchen's clean the kids come in and we get them ready for bed we usually do our bedtime routine together we kind of do where the kids brush their teeth we get in jammies we do some reading and then my husband will do it with two kids to either tell them a story and sing a song and do things like that and I'll go with the other two kids this is not counting the baby he just kind of goes with me and then we'll switch and do the other two kids and then um, depending on the time sometimes our kids will listen to books on tape before bed because the baby and my toddler go to bed a 
little earlier and then the other kids can listen to books on tape or sometimes they just go straight to sleep again. This just kind of depends on the time that we get bedtime. I like to get kids in bed around 7.30, 8 o'clock, especially on school nights so they are ready to go in the morning. After they're in bed, I like to get everything ready for the next morning. I usually will feed my sourdough or prep any type of breakfast that we're having in the morning, again, just to make it a little bit easier. And then I'll lay out just the books and different things that we need in the morning so that's ready to go. There's a few things in the morning that they can do by themselves, so I like to set that out. So in the morning when I'm making breakfast, they can kind of get started on their school. I always get the question when I do these types of videos, do I ever sit down and relax? And yes, I do. It's just that I don't really like to record myself sitting on the couch or like eating a snack or something. So I don't really show that, but I do. After we get the kids in bed, I have things prepped for in the morning. I almost always sit down, my husband and I both, and we do some reading. Sometimes we're reading um, or doing a Bible study or something together. Sometimes we're doing it separately, but we'll do about 30 minutes of just like completely silent like the kids are in their beds there is no noise we're just like sitting there like like it's kind of like thinking through the day what happened reading just you know like totally just decompressing um, and so after that typically we will sit here on the couch we'll talk we'll kind of plan out our next day because we do our business together here we work from home and we run our blog and our youtube channel and our oil business just all together so typically we'll sit on the couch and we'll kind of discuss things that we need on the schedule tomorrow like what's pressing what he's going to be working on um, what things i'm going to be doing with the kids we kind of like plan out the day and then we will watch a show or sometimes just hang out and talk. Sometimes we'll go to bed depending on the time. Sometimes we'll go out on the patio and sit out there. We have a TV out there. We'll watch a show, but we do normally like 30 minutes to an hour of just doing absolutely nothing and resting. So yes, I do rest, but I didn't know if you really wanted me to put the video on me while I'm watching a TV show, <laughs> but yeah, I do rest. So that's kind of our nighttime routine. It just starts with making dinner, really getting things prepared for the next day and ending it with just a nice clean kitchen. I love lighting the candles, dimming the lights and just sitting in a quiet, really peaceful home after a long day of dealing with all the kids and the chaos that comes with the day. So thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every single week. And if you want to get that full recipe to that soup that we made, that will be on my husband's blog. So I will have his blog linked below if you want to check that out. All right guys, I'll see you all in the next video.